What a great night. Thanks for the hospitality. producing uh, Loyal here and played some tracks for Billy. Billy was working with Chris on Conspiracy with Jay Shellen, uh, who's out on tour uh, right now helping Alan out on drums. Um, and, uh, you know, Billy and I were saying, hey, wouldn't it be cool? And at the time we didn't have the name White done, so it was pitched as, wouldn't it be neat to do a Conspiracy and Treason tour? Um, we liked the ring of it. Uh, I think Chris liked the ring of that too. Um, but that's actually how it started. Of course, uh, the name uh, matured, um, and we ended up uh, rightfully uh, calling White its own thing. It really was not an outgo, outgrowth of treason. There was some uh, elements and some influence of treason in the final White songs and uh, what we produced. Um, but for, uh, you know, White really was its own thing. Uh, conspiracy uh, uh, was going to be um, part of the initial more drama tour, and Steve Howe was going to come on solo. Um, and always the idea was that we would be playing Machine Messiah, Tempest Fugit, and a couple tracks from drama. Uh, initially, the idea was I would be playing keyboards, Kevin would be handling the vocals, and Chris and Alan would be handling the rhythm section, and that's how we were going to, um, to, do, to do drama. We were hoping Steve Howe would come out as well, and that's how we would go and do a number of those songs. So that was kind of the, the genesis of that. That really is how things happen. And I, I like to think, um, probably um, uh, wishful thinking here, but I like to think that uh, Jeff Downs coming into white is really what put Jeff Downs uh, back in yes today. Um, what happened after, um, when there was, when we had reached this point and, and Ted had finished the CD and we were ready to go and Ted had mentioned to where we were going to go out and other members of YES uh, had their own side projects. And so it was a great idea. What a phenomenal idea. A lot of fun. I mean, that's what I do it for, fun. And, and here now we can all go out. It's not YES. YES is a plane, but these three of these main members of YES are. We're going to go out. Each member is going to go up with whatever their project is. And then we kind of all get together called The Drama Tour, which was kind of the drama record of Yes, which I love that record, uh, and, uh, and and do some of those songs, and we've done some of those songs uh, before, Tempest Fugit being one, Machine Messiah, you know, fun songs with great power, um, and we're going to do this thing, and uh, and we, we've got this, this white record, we have this CD, you know, that, that we're going to play out, and then there was just some uh, some misinterpretations uh, at that time. Um, I can definitely say for myself that personally in my life at that time, I was struggling with some things. Um, so I admittedly was not the clearest individual that I've ever been. Um, once again, I, I, I can't use that as saying that's music, but sometimes that happens. You know, in the creative process and uh, uh, who we, how we intermingle. It, uh, that was a, a, a tough time for me personally. Um, and things were coming around because we had yes management. And then we had this idea, I think, from what Ted and I, uh, because it became and it had more value and meaning because we had put so much into it and uh, had brought what we felt was uh, the two of us a lot to that record. So I could certainly see how Ted felt. Ted was uh, thankfully uh, uh, far more astute in looking at the contracts and stuff back then. And the way it was appearing, 
he wasn't in total agreement, rightfully so, at that point. Uh, for me at that time, I just wanted to go. I just wanted to, I, I, let's play. You know, here's the song, let's go out and play, let's do. But there was more involved, and once again, like I'll say, I, I wasn't in a position at that time. Um, I was kind of personally unclear. And then Jeff Downs came around because uh, Ted, Ted had uh, uh, made a commitment and was standing by his own integrity and, and said, you know, I'm not moving forward on this thing. Um, and then there we were, and we still uh, were going to move forward. And that's where, at that time, a lot of those songs that Ted and I had written, they crossed over because now we were going to record the CD and then a few, uh, a couple more of the Cooper Edens, which would have been some of the Merkaba, uh, pre-Merkaba songs, uh, came to surface. And Jeff, for spur of the moment, <clears throat> did a, f a phenomenal job. He flew in and he heard them and, and put it together. Jeff, a uh, great individual, um, stepped up to the plate. And, and put it together, um, and then it was released. But a lot of those songs, for me, you know, they, they still had, and where I was coming from was, was based out of that fire that Ted and I, I thought, had, had kind of created, at, you know, the impetus of that whole thing. There was, it's that crossroad right there that we hit in between the trees in Merkava. Yes. Uh, and I think that was a lot of a lot of that brush fire. You know, I'll just have to say, thankfully, it was Ted and I were were creating some stuff then and keeping a fire rolling. Circles 